Well, I suppose you could say that it sort of draws a line under this dreadful, dreadful story of Millie's abduction, rape and subsequent murder. Although, of course, we need to remember that Levi Belfield has only now admitted his guilt after a long trial in 2011. You know, it was nine years between the commission of the offence and him standing trial. All those years of pain and heartache for Bob and Sally Dowler, her parents and other friends and family. And then he finally admits it now. He had the opportunity to admit his guilt some years ago. He could have prevented the family going through an extremely traumatic trial. He chose not to, and he's chosen only now to finally admit his guilt. Why would he have done this now, after all this time? Well, back in September of 2002, when Millie's remains were discovered in Yateley Heath Woods, there was a witness who came forward and was regarded as being credible by the police at the time, who said he'd seen two men with uh, a young girl around about the time of Millie's abduction, which of course was in the March of 2002. Now, at the time, the police felt this may be a significant witness, so perhaps there was always a question mark over whether somebody else was involved in her abduction, subsequent murder. Perhaps this has been put to Belfield and perhaps he felt that he would finally take the, the rap for it himself in order to dispel any lingering thoughts as to whether somebody else was an accomplice. Yeah, and we do know that police were questioning a suspected accomplice who has been uh, released without a charge. Um, does this change anything for Levi Belfield himself? No, it doesn't. Levi Belfield will never taste freedom. Prior to uh, being convicted for Millie's murder, he was convicted of two other murders, of Marsha MacDonald and Emily Delagrange, in separate incidents, two young women in the prime of life, walking in the dark at night, both attacked cowardly from behind and both brutally murdered. Millie, of course, makes his tally of murders three. He is a, serving a whole life-term sentence and will never taste freedom. And, of course, he was already in jail when he was arrested for, for Millie's murder, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. He was already serving terms for, for those other murders. Um, he has admitted to the abduction, rape and murder of Millie Dowler. He was convicted of her murder. It had been thought that she had been sexually assaulted, but it wasn't known. This is the first confirmation we've had of that. Incredibly difficult for the family at this time. What Bob and Sally Dowler have had to go through, I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. It is truly horrendous. Surely every parent's worst nightmare, having a child abducted and murdered. They've also suffered, dare I say it, at the hands of the media and wrongdoing. They have continually been thrust into the limelight and really have had their lives completely and utterly turned upside down. And I don't think those words really go close enough to, to really painting the horror that they must have gone through. Once again, all those dreadful feelings from 2002 and beyond will resurface as a result of this, and they really have my up, absolute unlimited sympathy. I really feel for them. OK, Peter Blexley, thank you very much indeed.